corkscrew, not a big deal. Sometimes it's not a big deal. Now this is either going to work or you're going to look like a damn fool, which I've done it both ways and it worked very fast or I look like a damn fool. First get your bottle of wine. I got carnivore here because that kind of suits my personality. I'm going to take the foil off the top of it. Now the next thing I'm going to do, the only damn reason to have a phone book anymore is to help you open wine. Place it against a firm surface, whether it's a tree or a good wall. Don't do this against vinyl siding, it won't work. And hit it firmly. And after that's two hits, you see it came out, just tap it nicely, and the wine is coming out. Okay. Only for the video does this wine come open in two hits. I can't believe it. But now you've got a little pressure in the bottle, so to take the top off, put a rag over the top, and just twist the cork off with a rag on it, because it may want to spew, and you don't want anything on top of your clothes. Now that bottle of wine opened in two. We're going to do another one in a minute and see how fast it goes. Nothing like drinking wine at 10.30 in the morning. Ha! All right, some corks don't work, some do. I can't believe that other one. This again, is, I think, is a real cork. This is a Sterling Wineries collection, Cabernet Sauvignon. I'm sure they're going to have a damn fit when they see what I'm doing with this thing. Take up your phone book, or a good shoe. The heel of a shoe will work if you place it up there, but not a running shoe or a croc. you got to have a hard shoe. Place it against the thing, hit it firmly. Okay, we can see that one going out, probably another 10 hits and then a bust, but we've already opened one bottle of wine this morning, so I'm going to hold this one back in case I need to base something. I have no idea how to pronounce this one, but my wife loves Zinfandel, so we're going to try that one. And this looks like a composite cork. Some Mad Men synthetic corks will not work. Once again, the only reason to have a phone book, and lawyers always advertise on the backside of phone books, so this is a great way to take out some frustration. One, two, three, four, five. Six, sell, and it bust out. Seven hits, it came out. You need to be watching it closer. I shouldn't have taken that last hit, but it worked. Ha <laughs> ha! If you are in a bind, you can use a shoe like this. These are my Sunday go to meeting shoes, right here. Johnson and Murphy's. I don't think that Mr. Murphy would appreciate this, but place your wine in there like this, hold it firmly, and slam it against the wall and the cork will come out just as easy. But don't use a running shoe or a crock. Those are made to, to absorb uh, energy, so just make it easy. Use a phone book on one of these shoes. Keep a phone book around the house just in case your corkscrew breaks. Okay, so we opened three bottles of wine today. One had a real cork, two had composite corks. One exploded out of the wine. What a great time that was. And I'm going to tell you, it really doesn't make a discernible difference when you're drinking the kind of wine that I like to drink. And these are my favorite kinds of wine, cheap and free. Ah, oopa! Oh, yeah, that was plastic. My name is Jeff Bannister. I want to thank Phil Hyman's photography, Alex Hyman coming out today, sitting here drinking wine. And remember, folks, only drink the shit you like. Have a good day. We'll see you soon.